because despite appearances, the rings aren't solid. Each ring is made up of hundreds of ringlets, and each ringlet is made up of billions of separate pieces. Caught within the grasp of Saturn's gravity, the ring particles independently orbit around the planet in an impossibly thin layer. Thanks. Yeah, see you in a minute. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But the similarity doesn't end with the layout. It also lies in what the rings and the icebergs are made of. And that explains why the rings are so bright. Well, this is why we can see Saturn's rings from Earth, because this is what they're made of. They're made of beautiful, pure water ice, sparkling in the sunlight. Billions of these pieces, a billion kilometers away from Earth. Most of the pieces are, well, smaller than that, less than a centimeter. Many are micron-sized ice crystals. Some are as big as this iceberg. Some are as big as houses. Some can be over a kilometer across. Imagine sitting on one. <laughs> Imagine this with a piece of Saturn's ring. What a view. This is the closest we can get to Saturn's rings on Earth. And the view would be remarkably similar. Billions of chunks of ice shining brightly as they catch the sunlight. And the reason the rings shine so brightly is that, like the icebergs, the rings are constantly changing. As the ring particles orbit Saturn, they're continually crashing into each other and collecting into giant clusters that are endlessly forming and breaking apart. As they collide, the particles shatter, exposing bright new faces of ice that catch the sunlight. It's because of this constant recycling that the rings are able to stay as bright and shiny as they were when they formed. 